Hello, my name is Andrew Gent from VaultDB Engineering. Today I'm going to be discussing how to use snapshots with the VaultDB Enterprise Manager. Snapshots are a copy of the database at a specific point in time when the snapshot is taken. Um, you can enable them either automatically or you can take manual snapshots. So if we look at the VaultDB Enterprise Manager, which we have on the screen here, we see we have a database running and the third item in the list of configuration is snapshots. So if we click on edit, it lets us set the snapshots. Uh, automatic snapshots use essentially specify the frequency with which they occur. So we can say, oh, well, we'd like to have them every 60 seconds, essentially every minute. And we'll keep three copies at any given time. If when I set, enable this, what will happen is that every minute the database will take a snapshot of its contents and save it on the database servers. If you want, you can click on the copy to management server checkbox and actually have those copied back to the management server if you want. But what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and enable them. It will first ask me to confirm that I want to do that. I'll click OK. And what it will do is it will go and tell the database to start snapshotting. Um, and it will do that. This is very useful in case of errors or problems where the database goes down, you can then use the last snapshot to restore and get the database back to a known state. Another way of using snapshots, if we go back to the snapshot dialog box, is you can take a manual snapshot. Here what I'll do is you'll notice there's a button saying take a snapshot and it will take its snapshot at that point in time. This is useful if you know you're going to be shutting down the server. So for example, if we were going to do some maintenance on our database servers, what we can do is we can go and click on the database name and ask it to pause. This puts the database in admin mode where no client activity will continue. With that in admin mode, we know that the database is being quiesced. There's going to be no ongoing uh, transactions. And so we essentially can then go and go to the edit snapshots dialog box and take a snapshot. What will happen is the Enterprise Manager will take a snapshot from the database and then copy it back to the management server. And as you can see, it will then appear on this list. So we now know we have a snapshot of a known state. Now we can cl close that dialog box and say, OK, well, now we can stop our database and do whatever maintenance we need to do on the servers. So we'll stop. Now that the database is stopped, we can do the maintenance, and when we're ready to restart and we click on the Start Database, one of the items in the Start Database dialog box is to start in admin mode and restore a snapshot. And so we can actually select the snapshot we took. We know it's the last valid snapshot, and we can click Start. And what will happen is the database, as you see, is spinning to show it's starting, but it's also blue indicating that it will start in admin mode. That way, the database can start completely and restore completely before client activity begins. Now that we've completed, the restore has happened. What we can do is then click on the database name and say resume, and it will go back to normal activity. Notice that the icon turns green, and client activity can restart on that database. And in a moment, you'll see that the transactions will start occurring again. One last item to notice about snapshots is that the, the dashboard actually shows you when the last snapshot was taken. In case you ever concerned of, about whether you have a valid snapshot or not, you can always go and take one if you want. Or if you have an, uh, automatic snapshots enabled, this will actually tell you when the last one was. And that's how easy it is to create and use snapshots with the VaultDB Enterprise Manager. If you'd like to try this yourself, you can download a trial copy of the Enterprise Edition of VaultDB from our website, www.vaultdb.com. Thank you.